Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and helping me call this one is Kirk Herbstreet. And Aaron Andrews also joins us on the sidelines. ESPN and EA Sports brings you what is sure to be another great game of football. Today's matchup features the Virginia Tech Hokies and the UNC Tar Heels. One of the most picturesque settings for college football. Keenan Memorial Stadium, home ground of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Carolina, give us a sense of how their offense works. Don't expect a lot of home runs from this offense, at least not at first. This is a pretty controlled, consistent attack. And while they do put the ball in the air quite a bit, they use a lot of underneath routes and quick outs. Look for the deeper stuff later on once they've worn the defense down. For Virginia Tech, there's a running back you don't want to miss. Well, Brad, I'll tell you, the thing that makes this guy unique are his quick feet. When he's in the open field, he's almost impossible to get a hold of. Taylor is looking to stay perfect on this drive. Caught end zone for the touchdown. An excellent pass to the wideout for six. That wide receiver had his eyes on the end zone the second he caught the ball. That was a nice looking play. They got great concentration from everyone to connect the unit. He is on the field. They'll try for three points. This will be a 37-yard field goal attempt. And they tack on three points. Virginia Tech holds a four-point lead. Hand off to the back. Look out. The 50 at the 40. Inside the 30. The 10. And he scores. Touchdown. Oh, my. What a run that was. Oh, I'll tell you what. This kid is incredible. He's got the moves, the speed, the power. He's the total package. Taylor steps back to pass. Deep pass down the right side. It's caught down the sideline. He scores. What a play. That was some kind of catch and run by the halfback. That was a mismatch that the offense took advantage of. He completely burned the defender from the score. his team play, he seems to come up with big plays. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. Man, the defender has his eyes on the guy's covering, but in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. Impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Yates drops back to pass. The 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. But he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Once he got the ball, he did all the heavy lifting to take it to the house. Breaks one and scores. Nice run and a score on the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man any time you're near the goal line. They got to him early, but didn't get quite enough of it. Start to blame the offensive line. Who 
did a great job. The kick is away. It's long enough. And the field goal is good. Here's the drive summary to recap what just happened. He gets it up. That's good. That's good. We leave this for our drive summary. Better than an incompletion. The kick is away. It's long enough. And it hits the upright. No good. Well, that's just unlucky. It looked pretty good from here. It's out to try this 48-yarder. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And it's good. one Virginia Tech 34 North Carolina 27 it's time to bring you the Reese's perfect play of the game which is brought to you by Reese's peanut butter cups the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter any final thoughts on this one Kirk coming into this football game you expected a hard-fought game and they put on a great show and definitely did not disappoint us. North Carolina played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. Here's a look at our player of the game. EA Sports will donate $10,000 in his name to his school's general scholarship fund. being with us for another NCAA Football 11 matchup. I'm Brad Nessler saying so long for Aaron Andrews and Kirk Herbstreit.